Moving on this morning to our next coach, head coach of the Presbyterian College Blue Hose, Errol Nichols. Good morning, coach. Good morning. Blue Hose jumped out to a 7-0 lead against Wake but fell uh, to the Demon Deacons in your opener, and now you head home to open up the home portion of your schedule against Brevard uh, Saturday. If you can open up with your uh, assessment of the Wake game uh, and then talk about Brevard, we'll take questions. Well, you know, going up and playing a uh, Division One opponent like Wake Forest was obviously a, a tough challenge for our football team. Um, Coach Grove's got a, uh, a great program up there and has done a really nice job. Um, I was proud of the way that our kids played um, for the most part, uh, especially on the defensive side of the ball. Um, we were... I guess it was in the second quarter. Uh, the one-score game. It was uh, we were up seven to three, um, ended up holding to a field goal um, there in the second quarter. They go up ten to three, give up one late um, to make it a seventeen to seven ball game at halftime. Um, the one discouraging thing is, you know, really couldn't get anything going offensively outside of that first drive where we went up seven to nothing there in the first quarter and. Um, really left our defense out on the field too too much. Uh, we, I think we defended 81 snaps on the defensive side of the ball in the night. Um, but, uh, you know, we turned the ball over too many times on offense to give ourselves a chance to, to make it a competitive ball game. Um, I thought that we did some good things in, in special teams. And, um, you know, I think the defense kind of rose up to the occasion a couple times, and especially with their backs against the wall, being put in tough situations by our offense, by the turnovers. And, um, you know, after a while, they just kind of got wore down. But, uh, you know, some things to, some positives to build on, I believe, from going and playing in that kind of atmosphere. Um, that's the most competitive we've been in one of those Division One A games since I've been here. So we've definitely made some progress there. Um, played a lot of young people on the defensive side of the ball especially in the front seven, which was encouraging to see how they respond on a stage like that. Um, I do believe that, you know, hopefully we'll make uh, a big improvement from week one to week two after that first ball game. Um, we've had uh, a couple of good days of practice here in preparation to play a good Bavar team. Uh, they pose some challenges uh, offensively. They're a triple option team, and uh, similar to what, what Georgia Tech is on offense and and I know from coaching in that tough style of offense for a number of years that uh, the potential problems that it poses to your defense. So we've been hard at work trying to prepare for that. Um, and it's really not so much of who we're playing this week as it is, is us improving as a team. And I think we'll make as much improvements from week one to week two as we will all year. So we've got to take advantage of that after playing in, in, uh, in an atmosphere like Wake Forest the other night and hopefully taking those experiences and putting them towards a, uh, a good Brevard team that's coached by Paul Hamilton, who was a, used to be the head coach at East Tennessee State and was out there at Air Force with Coach DeBerry for a long time. So I know he'll have his football team prepared uh, to come in and play us this weekend. It's our home opener, um, so everybody's excited here about getting back to play at home. And uh, um, so, like I say, looking forward to having a great week of practice and uh, getting prepared to play Brevard Um so that's kind of where we're at right now, Mark. And uh, like I said, looking forward to getting back at home and playing against Brevard. All right, thanks, Coach. At this time, we'll take questions for Coach Nichols. If I ask you a question, please press star 1 on your phone at any time or click the Q&A link near the top of your browser and click raise hand if you join us via the web. Questions for PC Head Coach Harold Nichols. Hey, coach, I'll start you off with a couple. One, I uh, just wondering, I meant to ask this last week, but have you uh, settled on your quarterback situation? You know, we, we really haven't. Uh, you know, we've, we've got the Tamron Garrett kid and the Caleb Griffin, uh, who both those two guys had started numerous games for us last year. We started Tam Garrick in the game against Wake Forest and, and kind of rode him for a little bit. Uh, you know, I think he'll be the first one to admit he didn't play his best game. Uh, we didn't do a whole lot to help him either. Um, so, you know, we're still in that process this week of – of finding the right guy to play at that position for us to help us win. And, uh, you know, one thing we didn't do a very good job of is to take care of the ball. And, you know, to play quarterback at this level, you've got to be a good decision maker and, and, and get the ball to the right guys. And, and uh, we 
didn't do a very good job of that the other night. We've got to do a better job coaching them and putting them in positions to be successful. So um, still working through the quarterback situation right now. Uh, we'll, we'll make that decision a little bit later on in the week. And then my next question for you was about the improvement from week one to week two. What are the, some of the things that you're looking for from your squad uh, this Saturday? Well, I think, you know, defensively, although that we uh, – you know, we put those guys in a tough situation with the turnovers, making it a short field. I think that you know we can we can get even more consistent on that side of the ball. You know, we have some breakdowns and some times where they were critical, and uh, we've got to do a better job of, of, of being more consistent. I thought I think we did a better job tackling as a football team overall, uh, which is an area that you want to make sure that you're sound in. And I think we were better there. Um, you know, offensively, we're just so inconsistent. Uh, you know, we come out of that first drive and get the big run by DeMarcus to get down there inside the five-yard line and really look like we knew what we were doing. And then, you know, we just continued to sputter from that point on and, uh, you know, three and outs and turning the ball over. And, you know, some of that it goes to credit with Wake Forest. You know, they're an outstanding defensive football team, but we didn't do a whole lot to help ourselves there. So we've got to be better there, be more consistent. You know, I thought going into the game we'd be able to run the ball a little bit better than what we did. And, um, but... Uh, you know, like I say, it's just more of a consistent performance offensively and uh, from all positions. You know, we got to be better up front and got to do a little bit better job at catching and throwing the ball. And um, so, I think we'll make improvements this week in that area. And if we're going to be the kind of football team that I hope we can be, you know, we're going to have to make improvements on offense. There's no doubt. Continue to be sound in the kicking game. Hey, uh, coach. I'm not seeing any more questions for you. So we'll go ahead and let you go, uh, but thanks for joining us, and good luck Saturday against Brevard. Mark, I appreciate it. I want to congratulate uh, Coach McCray and Coach Chadwell for their first wins this weekend. It was a big, big week for our, for our conference and uh, certainly showed well. Um, and I want to just congratulate those guys and wish them luck this week. All right. Thank you, Coach, and good luck to you as well.